Now for that retaining wall. I'm a DIY type of guy. I came up with a plan to do a DIY retaining wall. This is a gabion cage. They've been around for thousands of years. It's basically you stack lots of rock and create a mass loaded wall. This video will show you how I created a gabion cage. The plan that you just saw was required by my building official because he didn't trust my calculations. So I had to take my calculations to a licensed engineer and get him to draw up those plans. Child labor at its finest. Here are the two older boys unloading the cattle and goat panel that I picked up at Tractor Supply. They're 16 feet long. And now payment for unloading the panels. They're going for a ride. Hold on tight, boys. Finishing up and getting ready to start the hard work now. We are now building the first course of 16 foot long, 52 inch wide, 48 inch high gabion cages. If I remember correctly, this is 64 feet long from the far end towards the end we're working towards. And then it will be a return, so a 90 degree turn, and we'll do another 16 feet and then What you see in the background, those piles of rocks, that's four to six inch riprap, and I ordered 140 tons of rock. Because we have two courses to do full size, and then a little tiny third course on one part. And we're using my buddy's Bobcat to uh, move that rock, and it's still slow going. Box number one of five is done. 16 feet, 48 inches high, 58 inches wide. It is filled, the lid is on. So the back edge, due to bowing, can't lace that up. But the front edge, we were able to stand the top panel. We took that top panel and we stood it up on edge and then we could follow the curve and we we're able to do the helical wire all the way down the front edge and then flop it. Worked awesome. So the second wall will be standing on top of that. So we've got to figure out how to helical the front and back of the top on the second wall. But also the plan of the baffles, the split baffles so that we can climb in if needed uh, has led to considerable bowing as you can see there. And 
Not so bad here. As we fill it, we can straighten some of that out. But for the second wall, we're going to do full height baffles every two feet. And then this end piece here, this worked really well with hand stacking. Look at that. Not the slightest bit of bulge there. That is a box. So that worked out really well. Um, doing hand stacking and as you can see it's the cattle panel is the end piece because of I need to match the top and bottom width of 50 inches rather than 48 for the goat panels It's looking good. I'm feeling good Hopefully three more days and we'll be done with this bottom tier and that includes the See the drain tile over there the black pipe so that will be going behind this required per the structural engineer even though this should drain right through. Um, and then gravel on top of that, and then we can start putting together the second tier cages. Looking good. First course is done. Now we're backfilling with gravel because the second course is not going to stack directly on top. It's going to be two feet set back. So I need something behind the first course in order for the second course to sit on. Building the second course. Still have this pile of rocks to move. Yeah, look, there's another one in back. There's a lot of rocks still to move to fill tier two. As you can see, there's still a lot of backfill that needs to be done first. So, all this, all that, and I still have to build a fifth section. And then I can work on the other cages up there. Anyway, it's doable. And this is, I'm pretty impressed with uh, how well this is going. So, why am I doing a DIY? significantly cheaper than having someone come in and pour concrete, which I don't have the tools or skill to do. Um, the quotes were anywhere from twenty-five to thirty thousand uh, dollars. The price for this Gavian cage is, uh, I think I worked it out, it was between six and seven thousand dollars, plus a whole family of labor and hopefully a lot of fun memories. Yeah, you remember what dad made us do when we were kids? kinds of memories, but they stick with the kids. And here's Nate doing slow motion at hyperspeed.
second chorus is done. We're now backfilling behind it and getting ready to start the little tiny third chorus so that we can get that section closest to the camera up to 10 feet high. decided I had enough rock left over to add another 16 foot single tier section to help hold back the hill on that side. Uh, so then I extended the wall.